All right, guys, let me uh, stop my work here. I've been doing a little bit here, and I want to video this process. This is some scrap metal that I picked up from my local tractor supply. I believe it was the the apparatus or whatever they used to haul the utility trailers in on. And got quite a bit of it. And so what I'm, I'm making here is going to be a log arch. And this is going to be the back section. And I'm getting ready to weld the legs up on it. And I have two spindles off of the front axle of one of my Sears tractors. Let me grab one of these here and show you what I got. I just pop that out and that is going to fit in. I cut the angle up here, the angle that this is on. Oops, I'm putting it in wrong. It goes on this side and so that's going to go in like that. Now it's going to be at an angle. I'm going to cut this off flush with that. It's a little bit of an angle but I'm going to weld it up and then I've got two rims I'll put tires on and I think at this point all I'm going to have to buy is some tires. All right I got uh, the center shaft or rail tacked in. I've got these legs tacked in and I put one tack on each corner of the spindle. I put my level across there and they're they're straight as they can be. And I'll cut those tabs off there uh, after I get it welded up. And so the next step is to go out there and come down and then out for my hitch. And uh, all these, uh, I left these pieces on here for now. I'll cut those off uh, after I get it built. All right, there it is in its roughness. I've still got some stuff to do to it, of course. I've just got it uh, tacked together. I've got to make bracing. I've got to make a coupler on the front here to hook to my little tractor. I'm probably going to cut off some of this stuff on top. This piece I may leave. I might be able to use that. I've got to make a plate in the back for a chain hook. I've got to get some tires for these rims. And they lined up really nicely. And I think it's going to work good. But anyway, there's the rough design of it. I got on... YouTube and I got on uh, Google and I looked at pictures and watched videos and got the general idea took measurements and I printed out a couple of uh, samples one guy gave the measurements of his I can't remember what video that was or I'd give him credit uh, he had a real good one so I'm gonna get all this braced up and uh, weld it up good and get some tires on these rims and then hopefully I'll be able to give you a demonstration. Hopefully this thing will work. All right, I got the tongue mocked up and I'm gonna weld those in there. I've got to drill the hole at the end bigger and I'm probably gonna put some type of piece of metal to close that in on the side. I'll give it strength too. I've got that tacked in. I'm not going to get too close to my welds. I got that piece holding it up. Got that corner piece put in. I put a piece of uh, metal there to close that up. I got all this cut off the top and the bottom. I got two pieces uh, well tacked in for the corner brace. I've got this mocked up. It's just clamped there. And I've got to run from here over to here somewhere some bracing uh, do that on both sides so making progress a little at a time just a few things at a time all right after about a week of 
being down with the uh, COVID. I'm back at work here on this thing. I was only sick about uh, three days. Uh, I started feeling bad last Sunday night. Today's Monday, so a little over a week ago, last Sunday night, I started feeling bad. We got up Monday morning, we got tested, came back Wednesday positive, and by Wednesday, I was uh, back up and about. I hung around the house until Saturday. I got out Saturday and did a little work, not much. And uh, basically came down to my shop and sharpened a bunch of my tools. But this Monday morning, and I'm back on this thing a little bit, and I'm doing my bracing here. I was looking at all my scraps as to what I wanted to use here. I had these round pieces that came off of an old swing, and they just not heavy enough. And I had one of these smaller ones, that's uh, probably three quarters, and it wouldn't it I would have been happy with it but I only had one of them and I have this inch and a half and I have about four or five of these so that's what I'm going with just cause it's what I got and I got it cut in here I didn't know exactly how far down I wanted to go that's a little over halfway and it just kinda of what the angles worked out to be so I don't think that will intrude on the log too much and that'll give it good bracing. These uh, tabs, or whatever they're called, where the um, tie rod hooked up on my spindles, I was going to cut those off. I've been looking at them. I may just leave them. They're not going to be in the way. I'll have to wait and see what I decide. But I've just still got those tacked up. had not welded them in yet. I've got to uh, weld these braces in. I've got this Made, I've got to cut slots in that metal, uh, that uh, plate in the back for my chains to hook. I'm going to cut five slots there. And I've cut everything off of this thing except that. Alright, let's do a little bit more and then I'm going to upload this video for you guys. Alright, so what I did is marked out uh, for five holes. The middle one's going to be three eighths and the four. Uh, others, the two on each side, is going to be 5 16 That's what my chain, the main chain I use is 5 16 And uh, I take, drill the hole accordingly, and I'll take my grinder and cut down to the hole on each side, and that should give me uh, the size slot I need. These two holes here, uh, there and there, I'll just fill those up with weld. Had a little accident there at the bottom. My grinder got off when I was cutting it off. And so anyway, I think that's going to be solid enough. Uh, I've got a brace on the other side of it that I've welded to. You can see that I had good penetration through there. And so that should be pretty strong. All right, guys, this is the last uh, of this video. I'm going to end it here. I'll do a second part of me using this thing. Uh, about the only thing I got left to do is to, to finish welding it up and painting it. I've got everything tacked in. Um, I think it's ready to button up. I'm going to take these two rims off. I've got these two here that are narrower. I'm going to clean them up. And what I plan to do is to take the tires off of my log splitter. Uh, they're old. They're dry rotting. They're still usable. I'm pretty sure they got tubes in them. If not, I'll put tubes in them. But when I take these off, I'm going to use these tires on the log arch. These tires will never, uh, the log arch will never be on the highway. The log splitter is every now and then. So I want the new tires on the log splitter, and I can use the old ones on the log arch. All right, so everything's good and tacked up. Let me finish welding it up, throw some paint on this thing, and hopefully before long in the next video, I will... Uh, have this thing in use. Now, before I go, a lot of you ask about the dozer. The dozer is down. The transmission is out of it. It won't go forward or reverse. Uh, I've got a buddy of mine that's got one. I've got to go take it out of a little tractor, swap the uh, axle housings out, and then pull my transaxle out, which means pulling at least the backhoe, maybe the front loader, and the top part. I'm going to have to tear back into it. Hopefully the dozer will be back up and running soon. All right, guys, appreciate it. 
Hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.